Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and in today's video we are comparing a king with a loser. Before getting to the video, if you want to find the best deals on these earphones, then you can head to the first link down below in the description. A lot of you guys were asking to I don't want to do these silly intros. Today's video is about the Realme Buds Wireless 2 versus the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z Pace edition. This is the fight between the best neckband earphones. So let's go. Starting with the design, both are equally good. It's all about person liking which color and form factor you like. And talking about the build quality, I have this for almost five months and it's working fine. Now I have to put my hands down in terms of build quality, even though it is great, but as I was making this video, one of the earpieces stopped working properly. It started to give less output, so I have to get it replaced now. Talking about comfort, which is a vital element, Realme is somewhat more comfortable than the OnePlus when comparing them side by side. But a fitting is better on the OnePlus. The earbuds are designed like the shape of our ears, so it fits securely into the ears. On the feature side, we have magnetic earbuds with auto on and off. And if you are on a OnePlus device, then you have the option to enable the auto play and pause function. IP55 dust and water rating, and quick switch which means if you are connected to your laptop and you want to switch to the phone then without disconnecting from the laptop go to the bluetooth settings and select your phone and select the bullets wireless z from there and the connection will be switched and if you buy the regular edition there is a physical button that press twice will do the exact same thing now get away from me you call these features these are peanuts i will tell you Magnetic earbuds with auto on and off, no play pause though, but we have Google fast pairing, multiple device connectivity, press the noise cancellation button twice and it will switch the last connected device. Active freaking noise cancellation up to 25 decibels, Sony high-res audio and LDAC support, IPX5 watt rating, Realme link app supports these multifunction button customization and firmware updates. Now that's what I call features. To make gaming experience better, we have gaming mode which can go as low as 100 milliseconds. And this has 88 milliseconds. This is what the inline mic on the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z sounds like. Now there is no noise cancellation mic on the OnePlus but Realme has one so you should be able to take calls even if you are in a noisy environment. On the battery side we have 129mAh battery which takes about 1 hour to charge full and when I was done it served me 15.5 hours of playback with ANC on and if you turn off the ANC it would give 2 more hours of battery backup. One feature is also there that is the dark charging so when I charge it for 10 minutes I got around 10 hours and 20 minutes of playback. Now a major thing there is that all the Realme claims battery claims are at 50% of volume and the results I am giving you is at 100% so that is why you see the difference. Also that is the level at what you guys listen to right. On the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z Base Edition we have unknown amount of battery MH but I was able to get it charged in under 30 minutes and I got around 18 hours of playback. Hey suck that. This is the final showdown. Let's talk about the sound quality itself. On the Bullets Wireless Z, we have 9.2mm driver which produces great sound quality. The sound is 10% louder than the Realme and it has a good amount of bass. Other frequencies are also present. On these earphones, you can enjoy a variety of genres like hip hop, pop rock, acoustic. So it would be perfect fit for. Oh, Whoa! Bro! Have it for a minute. This has 13.6mm driver which produces phenomenal sound quality. I get it, it's a tad bit quieter than the OnePlus but talking about the frequency response, it is way better. Bass, mids, highs are very detailed. You would hear all the detail in movement, in the vocals and in instruments. Plus the ANC is also there to help you out in noisy environment and you could throw any genre at this and it will make its nectar. At least what I felt. Now don't take my words. Here, him out. You are the king. 
Coming down to the price, it is priced at 2000 rupees. And this is for 2300 rupees, which is 300 rupees more. But looking at all the features and most importantly, the sound, Realme Buds Wireless 2 is worth it. For me, if something sounds like a potato, then it is a potato. So if you're looking for a neckband earphones under 2000 rupees, then save some more and get this one. And to make your job easier, I have provided the best deals in the description below. But that's been it guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. What else? Unlike, unshare and most importantly, unsubscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.